Hey guys, so on Monday I went to go see Hobbs and Shaw and overall this is my first Fast and the Furious movie and I didn't really know what to expect. So I didn't know if I needed to hear and listen to any jokes or anything. Like I didn't really know that much well, I didn't know that much about the series, but uh, I just I just occasionally looked at the trailers and stuff and like, oh that looks pretty cool, so I want to go see it. Um so, yeah, I didn't really know what to expect since there was some, like, inside jokes in it, like, I called back to past films, which I, like, oh, I guess that was from, like, a different movie or something, so, um, like, there's a Ryan Reynolds character, which I'll probably show up right here, uh, that, that he's, like, he says that he's, like, Shaw's, like, Hobbs' best friend, and, like, he's, uh, I don't know, uh, so, yeah, um, let's just... Overall, I mean, it looks very cool, so I want to go see it. So let's just start talking about the good things about it. And first of all, uh, the good things about it was definitely the action. It was amazing. Like, it's a scene where, like, the rock, he lassoes a helicopter. <laughs> and that's just, that was just awesome to look at with his bare hands. And then uh, all the Samoan action is pretty cool on the island. And... Uh, the chase, the car chase scenes were also pretty good, like, um, like, definitely to where, it's the scene where they try to escape from the lab, which was pretty awesome, uh, from a collapsing lab, actually, and that just made it even more cooler. The final fight was pretty <laughs> awesome, too, with me, especially, I mean, it was just, man. So, another thing that was great, the chemistry between, well, the type of chemistry between, the Rock and Jason Statham was like to where they kept butting heads against each other. Like they refused to work together, but then they have to for the greater good. And like they're all, everyone's all like, "Oh, but you have to work together." And we're like, "No freaking way! No, we're not working together. This guy's a huge a hole." And then the usual stuff like that that you'd see out of a movie like this. And like uh, it was just hilarious to see them working together and everything. And. <laughs> Just trying to one-up each other in every scene and stuff like that, but yeah, I mean, the movie is very fast-paced. It never seemed to let me. It never slow. Well, it never really slows down. But it, even if it does try to slow down, it never really bores me. Like it always kept me. Like it always kept me really entertained throughout the whole thing. Like, for, like it was really just a good, uh, fun action buddy spy. What? kind of like an action buddy movie kind of except like they don't really like each other it's also it has like a hint of like a spy vibe and stuff like that and also tags in like another side of the story about family which it never really feels that stuff with too many plot lines like i usually see like it, it's just pretty good i mean it just never feels overstuffed it just feels like the right amount of that kind of stuff of the right amount of, of plot and storylines so Another plotline was secretly put in there, like, it was kind of subtle, it wasn't like a huge, oh, here it is, and like, stuff like that. Like, I mean, I, I didn't, I like how they didn't really push it, like, and see, to shove it down your throat, but like, also, like, oh, yeah, like, I guess that's a thing now, but okay. <laughs> that was pretty funny, but also pretty good, so, yeah, I liked it. And, uh, now, like, the mixed things I had about it, uh, like, the mixed and the bad things, like, uh, I mean, the villain and his plan, played by Idris Elba, by the way, uh, he was pretty cool, but it's just his character and his plan just felt pretty familiar, like, you know what I mean, but I kind of generic, but from, like, it's just kind of generic, but you, you can see what they're not trying to be this whole complex villain stuff, it's just like a B-movie, that's all it is. Like, they're not trying to go all out. They're not trying to be, like, Avengers Endgame or anything. It's just trying to be, like, a fun, like, uh, spin-off movie. So that's really what it's supposed to be right now. And then another play, another side plot line with the, that has to do with the scientist. I feel like it kind of drops off in the middle of the story. Like, wait, does that mean the plot line's over? Like, we don't even go anywhere with it? But then they actually pick it up by the end of the second act. So I'm glad they did that. And overall, um... The movie was pretty good, and yeah, it was fun, it had lots of action, it kept me entertained throughout the whole thing, so, and it introduced me to a new franchise, which I can't wait to watch the rest of them, so, it just seemed pretty awesome, so, um, my school, 
So yeah, it's full of fun, it's full of greatness. The villain's plan is okay. It didn't really get me interested in him, but he was pretty cool though at the same time. So uh, he was like a black Superman, but <laughs> yeah. So overall, overall, my rating, I give it a good nine out of 10 and an A minus. I feel like that's a good score for it. So that's really it for this video. So it's in the comments below guys. Uh, have you seen any of the Fast and the Furious movies? And tell, and tell me also if you like them or not. And that's really it for now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.